Hi guys, I want to show you how you can import your own music into a trial map. I don't really find them fitting in any uh, other map, so I don't recommend you do this in any wave map or anything like that. It won't even work in a wave map, because why? You, uh, you should only use this for uh, if you make like a jumping trial and you want to add some music uh, so people can play some music while they jump. That's the only thing you can use it for, because it will actually play the sound through the sound input, which basically means that Killing Frog can only play so many sounds at once, so if you play a music and you play in a wave, it's just too many sounds and it will stop the music. So this will only work if you uh, jump for a jump trial or something like that, because there is no, uh, not many sounds around, so it works better. So yeah, open up your Audacity. Since it's a freeware program, you can basically download it and get it. Drag into your, uh, drag the file in there, change the, uh, to 60 bit export to wave you have to make sure it's stereo sound if it's not stereo it won't work so make sure it's stereo you have to remember if you do this the map will become quite bigger but it adds a little bit uh, nicer things to it in my opinion make sure you don't have uh, too long songs one minute that already is like 20 or 10 MB I don't really know I'm gonna check it out now so also make sure you save it in the C drive because if you put it on the desktop it won't work it has to be uh, C and then your file yeah, it's kinda strange but that's the way it works it can't have spaces in the uh, the link that you want to try to import so for example if I want to export something from my desktop it has like uh, documents and settings and that sort of stuff and that just won't work it has to be like, uh, let me quickly open up so, I, so you guys know what I mean. For example, CMD, for example. Let's quickly start up this for a sec. So yeah, as you can see, this is Documents and Setting Marshall, and then you get Desktop. But it won't work if it has spaces in the folder names. So it has to be the audio file and wave. Otherwise, it just won't work. It, that's the way you know, this editor works. It's very strange. I, I think so too, but. It's just the way it is, and we can't do anything about that. So yeah, for this, it's only one file, uh, only one sound file. So I'm gonna import it into Map, but I don't recommend if you have more than ten sound. For example, if you want to make more uh, trial maps, it's better to save it in a package. You know why? Because if you save it into your map, you have to then decompile the sounds again, and then put it into your other map, and it will overall become just bigger. If you save it in a package you can then just use the same package for the other map if you know what I mean so we want to file import we are going to import the audio which is on my C drive and then we will pinky in the brain to I think this is the right one alright we are going to save this into my level but yeah like I said don't do it if you have too many music it's better to do it in a package uh, music, pinky in the brain, okay. So now we have the pinky in the brain sound in here, and it has to say 2. This is for stereo. If it doesn't say 2, it won't play to all players. And now it will also remain the same volume all over the map. So if you are here and you are going all the way over there, you will still hear the same volume. I don't really have a picture of pinky in the brain on this computer right now, so I'm just gonna use uh, this picture. What you want to do is make, uh, we can also use this white one, doesn't really matter that much. We are going to the first room, we are going to make the music here. We are going to make a small uh, thingy like this, uh, should be like this, let's see where is it. It's over here, let's quickly drag it into our area, like that. Uh, let's just make this one and let's put this to four or something, yeah that should be good enough. Actually, I want to make it a lot thinner if you don't want it to be. Um, if you want it to be a poster, I mean. So basically, like two or one. Let's just use one. It's good enough. So this is what the, where the poster will be. We are going to make it from scratch. So you can also just copy my poster and basically replace the uh, the texture on it and just trigger it to your music it works fine as well it's a little bit too large so we are going to make it a little bit smaller 
Oh, I see, because I used one, it won't actually get onto the. Maybe if I do it like this, then. Now I always have this little glitchy thingy here. If you moved it a little bit wrong, it's not gonna fit perfectly, but yeah. It's just a tutorial, doesn't really matter for this tutorial. So this is the poster, it's kind of a weird poster, but we are going to cover this to a static mesh. Saved into my level as well. Group statics. Poster. Alright, we got that. Delete this one again. Go find your poster. Poster, here it is. I want to make it a mover. Put it into the location you want. I don't really have the time to talk shit right now. Spill all, put it up a little bit. So, what we want to do is put keyframe zero. Display, uh, let's see where. Uh, I'm, I'm all in the wrong menu. I need to go here. Put it one block behind. People won't even notice that, and it still works pretty well. So what we are going to do is we're going to go with a uh, mover event and we are going to work with event of this. So we are going to start call this event. Uh, I think it will be no, it would be this. So we are going to call this one start song. The mover here you want to decide the time uh, when uh, when they players can shoot it again to hear another music so depending on how long your music is for me it's 60 seconds so I'm gonna put it on 60 seconds and then you want to put a uh, damage let's see damage 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 you trigger there's something about yeah damage triggers so if somebody shoots it it will trigger the event the mover event here to start the song so now we need another scripted trigger we are just gonna copy this one Remove all this, add a new one, wait for a fan. Start song. Start song. Add a new fan. Play sound, not music. Play a sound because we are going to play it over sounds. This is all only sounds. Music uh, works differently, it only plays to the client, and this actually plays to everyone. So we are going to select the pinky in the brain. We are going to use it here. Use volume I always six and after that we are going to make it uh, wait for time I don't really want to do this because it can cause lag and just right away make it go back to action uh, go to action let's see where is the go to action and you want to put in zero already on zero so that's all good so now once you shoot the poster it starts the event Play start a song. It will then go to the next action. It will play the song, and it will automatically right away go back to the zero function. Wait, and there it will wait for the event again. So if somebody shoots it again, it will play the music again. But the people can't shoot it again because they have to wait for the timer for 60 seconds. And if it's in keyframe one, you can't shoot it. It doesn't work that way. So that's basically how you make a uh, own poster with music. I'm gonna test it again, see if it works, and uh, and then I will. Then you will see. So let's save it, build all. Oh, there's some little glitchy, but it doesn't really matter. So yeah, let's. I will be going into fraps again. So yeah, guys, I made a little mistake in this uh, sound tutorial, but I'm going to show you how you can fix that. First, you may need to make, put the trigger open time it. I had it on bumped open trimet and you want to put uh, put the mover time in just in one it's not necessary to put it in 60 well, because if I put it in 60 it will only play the music after the 60 seconds so that that's something you don't want put start song in here go back to your uh, script to trigger right mouse it just make a wait for timer here and put that on 60 seconds so it will play the song it will wait 60 seconds so after the song it will go back to zero and then you can shoot it again so even though if people shoot it a uh, hundred times it won't uh, even matter 
but yeah we can still change this uh, to make sure they can't spawn it uh, let's see stay open times maybe because there's 60 so this should fix the issue so yeah we are going to test in game now I'll be right back so yeah, welcome back into the game I'm gonna shoot the poster Same thing we do every night, Pinky. Anyway, that's it. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please uh, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then do so. Anyway, see you guys.